Dear Alexis, dear friends, it is a great honor to intervene in your Congress. And it's a pleasure to share the floor with a good friend as you, Alexis. I will never forget the discussions that we both had in Brussels against austerity to bring growth to our countries and jobs to our citizens under a difficult balance of forces for the progressives. But despite that we fought, together to increase minimum wages, to have household relief measures for basic goods and energy and to support workers' rights. And we won. There was indeed an alternative to austerity. As we all know, today our societies face serious and difficult challenges. The war in Ukraine and its consequences the refugee crisis, the post-pandemic recovery, the energy crisis, and the rising of prices, and the effects of climate change. To answer all these challenges, we need strong progressive political forces, united to stand by our citizens and to achieve a green and digital transition, but also an inclusive transition that leaves no one behind. This is why is so important a common action today for all progressive forces. As we learned during the past years, as more progressive heads of state of our government, we have sitting in the European Council more solidarity, equality, justice and development we can bring to all Europeans and not only to a few. Dear friends and dear Alexis, we wish you a fruitful and constructive Congress. Thank you very much.